So Saul was the first king of Israel because the people asked for a physical king. So the whole town, Yahuwah, Yahushua was the king. But they could not see that the Almighty was the king. So they asked for a physical king. So they got Saul, which means to be asked for, to ask for. So Saul was the first king that ruled over Israel that Israel asked for. But the whole time, Yahuwah, Yahushua was the king, but they could not see. They needed a physical king, king that they could see. So Yahuwah gave them Saul, which was not a man after the Almighty own heart. But David was. So it's like today, Israel. They need a ruler. They need, they want a ruler so bad that these pastors, the so called pastors, the so called priests, the so called deacons, apostles that go to school, seminary school, thinking that they have the Almighty, they have His, his anointing, they have His, his spirit. Are these people that are set over the people? So it's like back then, Israel wanted a physical king, so the Almighty gave them Saul. But who they actually needed was David, was the man that was anointed by the Almighty after the Almighty own heart. So it's like today, Israel, the people, they asked for these pastors, these Christian pastors that go to seminary schools, believing that. Through that, they're gonna they're gonna have the anointing of the Almighty. Through that, uh, they're gonna receive the knowledge, the understanding of the Almighty of Israel. So they are finding so order. So that like when Saul was king over Israel, the person that was actually fighting the battle, the war of Israel of the Almighty was David, the anointed one. The man after your own heart was David that fought the Israel war, even when Saul was king. So even Saul needed David. So it's like today now it's the same thing happening. There's two type of people. The men that fought after Saul order, that believe they have the Almighty through the knowledge men give them, through the school, through seminary schools, through the theology. Those men I saw, they are finding so other. And then there's men like me, like you, that that is anointed by Yahushua Hamashiach to have his set up a rock, his spirit, to minister to his people the good news, how they can be saved, what the kingdom of heaven is like, the blessings, the promises, the inheritance, the powers, the glory. Of the kingdom, kingdom of heaven and mysteries is given to to those men like David that follow David first step that have the set up a rock of the Almighty to minister to the Almighty people to his sheep to fight the Almighty war with his war. Praise the also those are the two type of men in this world today. The men that ordain themselves. To be pastors, priests, ministers, apostles, deacons, and those men that the Almighty has chosen and anointed. So now today we are the men that follow David order. Seeing how the Almighty was pleased with David, the warrior, so now we follow his order, which is the right order for us to follow. For us to seek the Almighty of Yes, we are and have his spirit and go minister to his people the good news about the kingdom of heaven. Humbly, righteously, and meekly. Persia. We are David, we are, we are becoming like David, and that's that with the Western nation understanding. To actually have the physical power, 
the strength, the speed, the agility of King David to be a mighty man. It starts with the Western energy, honesty. So now we are in the time that Western energy, honesty is increasing. The Western energy will increase the those that receive the Western energy, honesty of Yahweh through Yahushua Hamashiach. You'll be bright. You'll be shining. You'll be like the angels, the messengers of the fundament. Praise the And let me get a scripture, which is Daniel chapter twelve. That before become like David, having a super scream, the super speed, immortality. We must receive this Western energy, honestly, of Yahweh. This is what the scripture says. Daniel chapter 12 verse 3 and they that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever but thou O Daniel shut up the word and seal the book even to the time of the end many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall increase now this shall be increased, praise yeah. So to actually be like David, to have the super strength, the super speed, the agility, the superhuman strength, the senses, to be able to leap over walls, to fly, to be invisible, indescribable. It starts with the wisdom and the understanding of the Almighty. This is what the scripture says. Those who be wise shall shine like the brightness of the phenomenon. And many attain, and those attain many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. So, this Western energy, honestly, must go forth into the world for the elect, for them to receive it. Western is power. Western energy, honestly, is power. In order for you to receive the physical powers, for you to be able to fly, which is promised to you, for you to run at super speed, which is promised to you, for you to be Im immortal, indescribable. Which is promised to you for you to have all powers and authority for you to have eternal a crown a scepter you must have the western energy honestly you must be able to accept receive the western energy honestly of the almighty western energy honestly is power so the scripture said be wise now therefore you kings all you judges of the earth praise yeah in order for you to be king Having scepter, know crown, superpowers to fly, run at super speed, super agility, immortality, authority over the nations, you must receive the wisdom as you understand the Almighty have to offer you. To be like David, you must be like David. David did not just have high superpowers to to run at super speed, high super strength. No, he also had a super mind. He had a super heart, a humble heart. To serve the Almighty with his whole heart, if with his whole soul, with his whole mind, he had wisdom and understanding of the Almighty. So, in order for you to receive the power, the physical powers, you must have the wisdom and understanding of the Almighty. It's like before you receive the power, you must you must know how you're gonna use it. Who gave it to you? Praise yeah. So I know Israel, the people, we the people, we want revenge. We want reparation. We want to vent ourselves. That time is coming. That the Almighty will vent you. You are the people that went to captivity in the slavery. You are the people the police are brut beating. Police brutality, slavery, unfair treatment, oppression, depression temptation you are the people so you are you are also the people the almighty will use to vent to punish the nations praise yeah so let's go to make chapter 4 verse 13 arise and thirst or daughter zion for i will make your horns iron i will make your whose brass you shall beat in pieces Many nation, many people, and shall devote their gain to Yahuwah, their wealth to Yahuwah, 
of the whole earth praise their soul you are arising from the land of your captivity from the land of your slavery from where you were oppressed from where you were allowed to from where you were enslaved from where you were mistreated the almighty spirit is upon you to rise up to stand up to your feet to gain western national understanding for you to rise up in order for the rise up you must have western national understanding of the almighty you must have understanding of your almighty of your creator of your savior so the scripture say a rise in thrust what does it mean to thrust that means to beat something is like you take a wheat it's like it's like make harvest you take the rice or the wheat and you thrust it you beat it until the green fall and then the rest of the part that's not green you throw that away you already burn it so a rise is for you to have the western knowledge understanding of the almighty of yes we are and when you thrust is when after you receive the western knowledge understanding then your western energy understanding will come with powers that's not that's the thing you'll be able to thrust the nations so it says arise and thrust O daughter of zion for i yahua will make your horns iron and i will make your hoof brass you shall beat in pieces many people and shall devote their gain to yahua their wealth to yahua of the whole earth so it's you the almighty will use to make your your horns iron what is a horn a horn is a weapon on the animal like like think about a buffalo the horns of the buffalo is a weapon that it can use to pierce another animal that it can use to go another animal so the almighty will give you horns now first go home boy you have powers because the horn of the buffalo or the sheep is his weapon and your hoof will be brass that you'll be made out of iron you'll be you'll be invincible you'll be indescribable right now not, not in this body because what when the almighty come you will have a new body you will receive a new immortal body that you'll be like the angels as we just read in the book of daniel chapter 12 verse 3 it's probably said that it says and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament which are the angels and they shall they shall turn and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever so the wisdom as you understanding of Yahuwah Yahushua Almighty and Savior of Israel is going forth into the foreground of the world that the elect those that be part of the kingdom of heaven may receive it that those that receive the wisdom and understanding of Yahuwah Yahushua Hamashiach will receive the powers that your horns will be iron and your hoof will be brass that you, you will beat in pieces many people in many nations and you will shall devote their gain that wealth to Yahuwah that the substance of the nations will be yours you plunder the nations the Almighty will use you to plunder the nations to beat them in pieces to tear them in pieces for what they have done to you your ancestors to you and what they continue to do to you Persia another scripture Now go to Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the days cometh that shall bring as an oven, and all the prior year, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day cometh that shall bring them up, says Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and he shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star and he shall throw down the wicked for there shall be ashes on the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this says Yahuwah of hosts so you see so you that fear the almighty name you that know his name his character his ways what do you what delight in 
you are those people that the Almighty will use to tread down the wicked. That you'll be made out of fire. Your your horns will be iron. Your hoof will be brass. You'll be made out of fire like the angels. Like the brightness of the phenomenon. You'll be fiery beings. Fiery immortal beings. That you'll tread, you'll tread down the, the wicked. The arrogant. Your oppressors. Your captives. Is you the Almighty will use to tread down the wicked, your oppressors, your captives, the arrogant, the sinners that will be ashes under your feet? You will leave them neither root, no branch, that every that are children. They will also be tread down. Praise the Now I go to Jeremiah chapter Jeremiah chapter 16, 16. So we'll be like David, but it start with the Westerners. You understand that David had Brazil yeah? before, before you receive the power like David, King David, that the Almighty was pleased with, because you are becoming like him. So now you must take on his mindset, you must have his wisdom as your understanding. Of, the, of his almighty, of your almighty, Yahuwah, Yahushua. So now let's go to Jeremiah chapter 10, 16. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for Yah is the former of all things, and Yahshua is the right of his inheritance. Yahuwah of hosts is his name. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. Because David was a hunter, David was a mighty man, having wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, stability, and superpower. So it started with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding before the power came. Praise God. When David was in the field, he was just a shepherd boy until he was anointed by, the, by Samuel with the almighty rock that he had wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Before you receive the superpower, so it's the same way that before you become like David, you must have the wisdom and understanding of the Almighty of David, of Dawado. You can go hunting if you don't know what you are hunting, or if you have no powers to hunt. So the Almighty will make you hunters. That you will hunt your oppressors, you will hunt the wicked, you will hunt. The sinners, your oppressors, your captives, the arrogant, those that prey on you. The Almighty will use you to take vengeance in due time. Jeremiah chapter 16, 16. Behold, I yet was sent for many fishes, says Yahuwah, and they shall fish them. And after we are sent, for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from, from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rock. So now you are in this you are in a state of a fisherman that you are fishing for the elect, you are speaking wisdom as your understanding of your almighty to bring in the elect, your brothers, your brothers, the house of David. So now you are in the state of being a fisherman that you are fishing for the elect of the kingdom of heaven. That those people will be hunters. Praise God. So after you are fishing for the elect, those that will enter the kingdom of heaven, then the Almighty will put you in the state of being a hunter that you hunt. So it's like you must have the wisdom and understanding first before you are given the powers to hunt. Fisherman before a hunter. The knowledge must go forth in the whole earth. For the elect, and now when the elect come in, the number that is the number that is that is decided by Yahuwah, then Yahuwah will make you hunters. Jeremiah chapter 16, 16. Behold, I Yahuwah sent for many fishers, says Yahuwah, and they shall fish them. And after we are sent for many hunters. 
and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out, out of the holes of the rock. Verse 17 For my eyes are upon all their ways, they are not here from my face, neither is the iniquity here from my eyes. And first I will recompense their iniquity in a sin double, because they have defiled my land, and they have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of the detestable and abominable things. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 20 Thou art my battle axe and weapon of war for with thee I Yahuwah will break in pieces the nations and with thee I will destroy kingdoms and with thee we are breaking pieces the horse and his rider and with thee I will bring in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I bring in pieces men and women. And with thee I will bring in pieces old and young. And with thee we are bring in pieces the young men and the maid. I will also bring in pieces with thee the shepherds and his flock. And with thee I will bring in pieces the husbandmen and his yoke of oxen, and with thee we are broken pieces, captains, and rulers, and I will rend out the Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea, all their evil that they have done in Zion. In your sight, says Yahuwah. So, the zeal the Almighty will use to carry, to carry out his wrath against the nations, against your oppressors, against your tormentors, against your enemies. It's you that the Almighty will use you to break in pieces the nations, their rulers, their captains, their mighty men, the shepherd and his flock, those that follow the order of Saul, The first prophets and the first teachers, the first listeners, the unfaithful, because the Almighty says, "I bring in peace with you, men and women, captains, rulers, government leaders, the flock and the shepherd, many pastors and the congregation, priests and the congregation, so-called prophet and priest." And teach us in a congregation that is not of Yahuwah, of not of it's not of Yahushua Hamashiach. So it's you the elected Almighty will use to bring in pieces all those people, the captains, the rulers, the mighty men, the teachers, the shepherd and their flock, the men and the women, the old men and the old women, the children, the youth, even the babies. It's you the Almighty will use to break in pieces those. That is not on Yahushua's side. Jeremiah chapter 50, 51. Verse 20. So is the men like David, the Almighty when used to do those things. Because when David won the war, anything that moved, he killed it. Like a lion, anything that moved, the lion can kill it. So David was a lion. And the Almighty is forming you to be like a lion. That you are broken pieces, many nations, many people, rulers, captains, the old, the young, the men, the women, the old men, and the old women, 
the young man and the young the young man and the old man sheep and shepherd captains and rulers so it's like David when he won the war everything the almighty told him to kill he killed it those are men the almighty need those are men the almighty is recruiting the house of David and the remnant men that will be like the house of David that you you obey your almighty every time you you will obey his word and when it's time to hunt hunting season that you obey him that you won't you won't revolt you won't turn away you won't deviate from the order that the almighty give you now to read jeremiah chapter 51 verse 20 thou art my battle axe and weapon of war for with thee we are broken pieces the nations and with thee we are destroyed kingdom kingdoms and with thee we are broken pieces the horse and his rider we talking about the jets the meditative plane meditative planes the jet the b bombers the tanks the warship the warship and the people in there the helicopters and the people in there the plane and the people in there the jets and the people in there the nations and people that rule the nations that's ruling over Israel, the people that are my battle axe and my weapon of war for with thee we are yet we are broken pieces, the nations and with thee we are destroyed kingdoms and with thee we are broken pieces, the horse and his rider with thee we are broken pieces, the chariot and his rider with thee we are broken pieces the men and the women so the almighty is, is no respect of nobody because men and women will be broken broke pieces that's not of Yahuwah Yahushua almighty of Yahshua and with thee we are broken pieces old and young no age limit and with thee we are broken pieces the young men and the maid men and, and women are broken pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock false prof false prophets for his teachers in a congregation that's not of Yahuwah, Yahushua Hamashiach. And with thee, we are broken pieces, the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee, we are broken pieces, captain and rulers, people in the government, officials, government leaders. Verse 24. And I'll bring it out and I'll render on the Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea or the evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, says Yahuwah. Verse 24 Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, says Yahuwah, which destroy all the earth, and I will scratch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks. And will make thee a brand mountain, and they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundations, but thou shalt be desolate forever, says Yahuwah. We're talking about Babylon, America, America, Babylon, or Isa Edom that's ruined today. As the scripture says, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. So who's winning right now is Esau Edom, which is Babylon America. Or oh, Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. And the evidence is Esau will be ruined at the end. And at the end of Esau kingdom, Esau rulership, and Jacob is next. So Esau Edom, capital city, or oh, is mountain. His kingdom is is the daughter of Babylon. Or Chaldea. Or spiritually speaking, Egypt. Because when we are in Egypt again. Psalm chapter 137 
verse 7. Remember, O Yahuwah, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who say, Rest it, rest it, even to the foundation thereof. So when they say, Rest it, I mean, throw it down, destroy the temple of Solomon. So that's what happened in 70 AD. Psalm chapter 137, verse 7. Remember, O Yahuwah, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who say, Rest it, rest it, even to the foundation of the earth. O daughter Babylon, who are the be the scroll, happy shall ya be that reward thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall ya be that take us and dash the little ones against the stone. So, devil, are you going to become like is devil that prophesied these things? So to be like David, you must have his mentality, you must have his words knowledge, understanding what he spoke of the, his Almighty, of our Almighty, our Savior. You must have the knowledge of those things. A soldier must have words knowledge, understanding of the battle. He must know the battle plan. He must know who is his strength, who is his Savior, where his strength come from. Because David knew where his strength came from. So David said. Yahuwah is his strength, Yahuwah is his rock, Yahuwah is his shield, Yahuwah is his soul, Yahuwah is, is his shepherd, Yahuwah is his light, Yahuwah is his maker, Yahuwah is his deliverer, that Yahuwah is his savior, that Yahuwah covered him, his hair in the day of battle. So now Yahushua is our shepherd, our savior, our rock, our light. Our stone, our savior, our redeemer, our almighty, our shepherd, our helmet, the helmet of salvation. Psalm chapter 149 Verse 5 Let the sin let the sins be joyful in glory and let them, let them sing aloud upon their beds Let the high praises of Yahuwah be in a mouth and a two edged saw in their hands to execute vengeance upon the heavens and punishment upon the people to bind our kings with chains and our, and our nobles with feathers of irons to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his sins praise Yahuwah so as you the house of David and the elect remnant men is you the almighty will use to take vengeance on the world that you will bind our kings with feathers of irons, with chains, with shackles on our neck, having them in chains and dragging them in, in Jerusalem. I don't think you'll be the hunters to hunt your oppressors, your abusers, the sinners, the wicked, the arrogant. The first prophets and the first teachers and the first ships. Psalm chapter 149, verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory and let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahuwah be in their mouth and the two S saw in their hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathens and punishments upon the people, to bind the kings with chains 
and our nobles with feathers of irons to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his sins praise Yahuwah Revelation chapter 13 verse 10 He not lay in the captivity or slavery shall go in the sleep in the captivity He not kill with the soul must be killed with the soul Here is the patience in the fifth of the sins So as a saint of the Almighty as the house of David This is your heritage that the Almighty will use you to take vengeance upon the world upon all the nations Of Mika, Book of Micah chapter 5 verse 7 And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as it do from Yahuwah As the showers upon the grass that tear not for men nor wait for the sons of men So the remnant of Israel the one of thousand men and men of the one third will be like shower from the heavens will be like dew from the almighty that when it rain falling when the shower is falling from the heavens it's everywhere when it rain falling somewhere the drop of water is everywhere that it cannot be avoided that's how the remnant of men will be like after the almighty make you hunters after the Almighty making hunters of the earth, you'll be like rain, you'll be like dew dropping on everybody. You'll be to and fro in the city at light speed. You'll be on fire. You'll be in, you'll be immortal, having super strength, super speed, and all the powers, all the superpowers that that will be given to you to fly, to run at light speed, to teleport, to zoom, to run five hundred miles per second at light speed. You'll be like the angels. If they slip thousand people in one second, you'll throw upon the wicked that will be ashes under the source of your feet. These are the powers the Almighty will give you. The men of the house of David, the one of the thousand men, and the remnant men of the twelve tribes. Make up the four for the seven. So, like they say, so called black people receive powers. You ask how it's through the spirit of the Almighty by receiving His spirit and having His wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, having stability. And when is when the Almighty acts, when the Almighty come and make you hunters. Praise yeah. And this is the proof. Micah chapter 5, verse 7. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people, as they do from Yahuwah, as the showers upon the grass 
that tear is not for men, nor wait for the sins of men. That means you'll be unstable in your, in your immortal body. You'll be like David in an immortal body, on fire, having the powers of, of the angels to fly, to run at light speed, to teleport, to remind, to know everything. That even people will be hiding on the ground, on the, in the bunkers, on the ground cities, on the water, in submarines, you'll be able to find them. This is what Yahuwah says, Behold, I sent for many fishers, and they shall fish them. And afterward, I sent for many hunters, and they shall hunt them. At that time, not, not, nothing will be able to escape you. No matter why, where the prey is, they won't be able to escape you. In the, on, the, in the, on the ground, in submarines, on the ground cities, anywhere, everywhere they are, you will find them. At the time, you'll be hunters, having superpowers. Micah chapter 5, verse 7. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as they do from Yahuwah. As the showers upon the grass, that tear not for men, nor wet for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles, in the midst of many people. As a lion among the beasts of the forest, and as a young lion among the flock of sheep, who even goes through, both tread down and tear in pieces, and none can deliver. Their hands shall be lifted up upon the adversaries, and all your enemies shall be cut off. Micah chapter 4, 13. Arise and thirst, O daughter of Zion, for I, Yahuwah, will make your horns iron, and I will make your hoof brass, and shall beat in pieces many peoples, and shall devote their gain or their, their riches to Yahuwah, and their wealth to Yahuwah of the whole earth. The book of Ezekiel, the Kazia.
ideia. And now go to the book of, of, of Zechariah chapter 12, verse 7. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 8. That's number 5. Zechariah chapter 12, 5. And the governors of, of Judah, Yehuda, shall say in their heart, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, shall be my strength in Yahuwah of hosts they are almighty for the six in a day where I yet will make the governors of Judah Yahuda like a heart of fire among the woods and like a torch of fire in a sheaf and they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand or on the left and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place even in jerusalem for the seven yahuwah also shall save the tents of judah first that the glory of the house of david and the glory of the inhabitants inhabitants of jerusalem do not magnify themselves against yahuda in a day shall yahuwah defend the inhabitants of jerusalem and he that is feeble or weak among them on a day shall be as david and the house of David shall be as the Almighty, as the messenger of Yahweh before them. Verses 9 And it shall come to pass that in a day that I, Yahweh, will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. So as you, the remnant men, the one of the thousands and the remnant men of Yahshua, the Almighty of Jews, to cleanse the earth of the wicked, of the arrogant, of the oppressors, your oppressors, the stiff catchers, those that rule over you, those that oppress you, those that made slaves, is you the Almighty will use to punish those people. In due time, you'll be the hunters of the earth, that nothing will escape you, that you have powers from your Almighty, that you've been used. By Yahuwah to give to carry out his wrath. Arise and thirst, O daughter of Zion, for I'll make your horns iron, I'll make your hoof brass, and you shall beat in pieces many peoples, and shall devote their gain to Yahuwah. 
their wealth to Yahuwah of the whole earth. Is he the Almighty one used to carry out his wrath against the other nations? That you are his battle axe and weapon of war, with the Almighty of destroy nations and kingdoms and break in pieces many people, husband, wife, daughters, sons, all men, all women, captains and rulers, army people, generals, high officials. That the Almighty will use you to pull it, to punish Babylon, to take vengeance upon Isa Edom and upon your adversaries. You are the house of David, the mighty man that the Almighty is raised up to fight his battle. It starts with the spiritual battle, then the physical battle. It starts with you being a fisher man. Fish for your brothers and your sisters that you let, and then the Almighty will make you hunters, having superpowers, having authority over the nation that you're breaking in pieces like part of your voice, like part of your, like a part of your vessel that you're breaking in pieces like glass with the, with the authority and the power the Almighty will give you that's installed for you.